Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. And I just want to share with you about small-minded atheists. Uh, I just want to give some examples of how atheists in secular countries are dealing with Christianity and with Christians. And I'm going to give you uh, some examples of this and leave you with a link. And please read the article as it's an eye-opener. It's things that the media will not tell you that these atheists, what these atheists are getting up to. Okay. Um, on Thursday, September the 20th, 2012, the, ca the Count's cheerleaders told no Bible verses on science. For three straight weeks, high school football players in a small southeast Texas town took the field by bolting through large red and white banners that hollered the praises of Jesus Christ. Most people in Count's viewed the banners as evidence of the students', students honourable moral upbringing, Christianity and the Bible always being fundamental to the town of 2100. But someone complained to a foundation that fights for the separation of church and state, and by Tuesday, a day after receiving a letter from the Freedom from Religious Foundation, the superintendent banned the banners and the town became embroiled in a controversy that has touched other communities nationwide. Another example, atheist invocation, a slap in the face to the nation. An Oklahoma delegate to the Republican National Convention incensed that the Tulsa City Council has agreed to allow an atheist to pray, uh, to allow an atheist to pray at its meetings today. A prayer invocation ends a year-long battle with council members of the Bible Belt City. The Humanist Association of Tulsa has worked for years to prevent sectarian prayers before Tulsa City Council meetings, finding little success with leaders who remained confident that the practice is constitutional. Tony Calvi, Oklahoma resident and Republican delegate representing the Sooner State in Tampa, has concerns about what the atheist prayer rep represents. Personally, I think it's a slap in the face of our Christian heritage, our nation and our state of Oklahoma, she comments. We are a conservative state. And I think that something like this is meant to be provocative and it's insulting to me. So, there we are. Um, what I can't understand with the atheist is why do you have to be like that? Why can't you just let people be Christians? And if they want to pray in, in a council meeting, why do you have to cause aggravation and trouble? Why? What is it all about? I'll tell you what it's about. Basically, it's not about you making sure that religion is not in public space. It's about you making sure that your opinions are the main opinions. Your views are the main views. And your persecution and attack upon the Christian faith. Okay? That's what it's all about. You just don't like Christianity. It's not about religion and state. It's about you having... Uh, Christophobia against Christ and his people and a persecution of Christianity. That's what it's about, atheist. And you as politicians need to stand up and be counted at this time and say, no, enough's enough. You've persecuted the Christians enough. Leave them alone. Let them be. That's what you need to do. Okay? Take care now and please leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe.